Emmanuel. If God be with us, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Well, I know you have a lot of things are going on in your mind that where should I come too late? So God's time is the best. At God's time, everything look what? Thank you. I've been trying to come out earlier than this. But each time I made an attempt, the Lord said, no, it is not yet time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Viewers, you have your message at the, on the table. Approach God in humility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, the message which I know going by the letter and the text message and the email we have received it's like uh, they, they want me to continue the message that the fertility so uh, the time with us now as you have seen the time I have to talk about this seems to be over. I think we have to go straight to the next line of fashion and the next week by the grace of God. But I, I can quickly introduce to you what we are going to talk about next. Believe in our heart. Let someone say believe in our heart. And that is what we are going to talk about. Because this has been a trouble to the Christian. Christian seems not to know the full meaning of the word belief, the word faith, the word heart, the word soul. Seems confusing because of the scientific time. So soul has a different meaning compared to science meaning to we ministers of God. The way we look at the word soul, heart. In the right perspective, in the spirit, it's quite different. So, um, so we shall talk about this next. So, I believe in our heart. You know, last week I told you I'm not going to talk about. It. I'm just give you what you need to prepare your mind for next meeting. Believe in our heart. Um, last meeting we that is where we stopped. And I, I decided to take my, my, my title from this, the last program, Believe in Our Heart. Yes, we all know what the book of Romans say. Romans 10, verse 9, 7, and so on and so forth. Take your time to read the Romans 10. So when you read from that verse 9, verse 7, and so on and so forth, the word believe, and then not only that reference alone, but one thing is common by the word believe. Whoever believes that Jesus is what? Has what? Has eternal life. Has what? So, believe in your heart. Because the Bible says, like I have told you last meeting, with our mouth, I mean, there is power in our mouth. The belief in our heart is released by faith. Can you see the relationship of faith, heart, belief? Can you see? There is power in our mouth. It means everybody, everybody created by God has what? Has power. But if you have not realized your power means yours is dormant, unused. It's dormant. Power to say in the name of Jesus Christ and what? Power to say 
Hey, you are free in the name of Jesus. Power to say you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Power to say you are free. Power to prophesy to see which I mean, I mean what to happen, what is to happen, what is to come. You have it. But if you have not realized this, means it's dormant. It's somewhere dormant or use. Because the Bible says in that book of Luke, it says, Behold, I have given you. Behold, I have given you what? So, you have the power, everyone. Whether you say, I'm a believer, I'm not a believer, you this, I'm a pagan, I'm this, I'm that, and that. You have power. It's here, it's there. That is why you, you, you can sleep and wake up. Breathe walking around freely and so on and so forth you say someone is performing miracle what of miracle to to sleep and wake up is miracle it's miracle many people are asking for this miracle just to sleep and wake up they keep using tablet they have to live on the drug before they can sleep they are praying asking for miracle without drug to sleep and sleep but it's impossible you can move anytime now and go to the restroom and use yourself freely. Many could not use themselves. They have pie. They have to go through the pie. They need miracle. So you have miracle, miracle. So everyone has power. But if you have not realized yours, your it seems to be dormant. Dormant. So to realize this power, faith. Remember when the Bible when the, the when when the, the the father of demon possessed crying to Jesus in that book of art, he crying to Jesus, 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 I brought my son to your disciple to heal, to deliver him, but they could not. Ah, Jesus said, No, 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 this is blasphemy. Don't say they could not. Don't don't say they, they have no power. You can the man say, I brought my son for them to deliver. They have no power to do so. Mm, that is blasphemy. They have power. Faith to release the power is what they lack. Mm. The, the demon possessed father crying out. You know, when the boy was with uh, the, the disciple, the disciple was saying, Be deliver. They deliver, they deliver, and the boy, the more they say they will deliver, the more the boy says, Oh, leave me. Ah. The crowd now gather, looking at the drama. What is happening here? They deliver, they deliver. The boy, they say, They deliver. You know, crowd want to see attention, something funny. Thousand people are gathering, seeing what is happening here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So they were doing that for many hours. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in this town. The father of the boy abandoned the, abandoned the disciple and the son. And run towards Jesus and said, Ah, Savior, I was here for the past many hours. My son was with your boys. Need deliverance. We have been on it. But your boy has no power. Jesus said, Hmm, blasphemy. They have power. But the faith, the major, not, mm, please, Christian over there, please take note, take note, point of correction. The major of faith to release the power, not that they have no faith. The major of faith to release the power, not that disciples have no faith, because they have been doing that, delivering, going from villages to villages, delivering people healing people, but that one seems to be very tough. He ran to Jesus, ah, oh, they have no power. No, 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 they have power. Blasphemy. Please, keep track. What they lack is the measure, the measure of faith to release that power. They have faith, but the measure, the degree of faith no, you have some, mm, mm, the more your faith, the more you release power. 
the more my fear, the more power I release. The more fear, the more power I release. What I can do in Christ Jesus, you may not be able to do it. And what you can do in Christ Jesus, I may not be able to do it. Because faith releases that power. It's like a fire. You know, when the fire, there is a gush of fire. You have some little keg of water. And I have a big bowl of water. Okay, the little cup of water you have, you drop it inside. That fire starts, but I have plenty water to pour on the water, on the fire, and the fire will do all. That is the faith. Faith is that water. No, point of correction, Christian all over the world, everyone has faith. Okay? But the measure, the degree, the measure of faith to release the power is what? Why I'm like this? Why you are like that? Why I can stand here to say, be healed? In Jesus' name, you say, ha, ah, the man is healed. But I'm a Christian, I could not do that. No, no, no. You have that power. But the measure of faith to release that power is, is deeper. Is what? Huh? Differ. Mine may be more than your. My faith may be more than your. But equal power to change and unchange that is in me is in you. To burn and lose that is in me is in you. But the measure of faith to release that power, that is where. The measure of faith. Are you with me there? Yes. That is the word faith. And faith is not a creation of the intellect. intellect but is is the spirit of human. It's not something you can just study bull. Study Bible, study Bible, study Bible without acting it and get it. Oh, you are theology, you are philosopher, you are study all books. Professor, there is nothing you have not studied, you have been to moon, you have been to sun, there is nowhere you have not, you are a scientist. You want to see where God is sitting, you want to go there. No, it is not, faith is not a, a, a creation of war, of the intellect. No. But of human spirit. But of what? Of human spirit. So you study the you study the no I study Bible. If you study Bible but you are not at it, you can't get it what we are talking about. No. Faith is not a natural issue. Have faith in God. It's not a natural issue, but spiritual issue. No. So when you now talk of believe, we talk about that believe in our heart. We have said it all that he who believes that what Jesus is what take note of the word believe that's me the spirit will tell us will show us what the word believes believing is processing The instant you believe, you receive, you have. The instant you believe, you receive. The moment, within a second, 
I believe, spontaneously. It is not issue of I must. I, 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 do I need to be to be to be forced to believe? This is the way with all kinds of faith today. This is the way with all kinds of faith today. They have to, you have, you have to, they have to ask you to fast for three days, uh, force you and collect cigarette from you, uh, collect your drinks. Say you must believe in Jesus. Collect cigarette. Uh, put you, force you inside a, a, a certain pe a place that you must believe God. Thou shalt not smoke, thou shalt not drink, and force you there. No, that is not faith. Faith is something that comes spontaneously. Anything that comes by thought is not faith. That's I try to get you to be a Christian and I offer you money. I offer you this. I buy you car. I buy you house. I want you to be a Christian. No, that is not faith. That is not faith. That is not faith. So this is why people today, Christian today, they don't long, no longer last. You see people Christian today, tomorrow, pagan. Christian today, there are many of your children, your son, your brother, that are once preaching the gospel, but today, they are outside there, smoking, drinking. Because the manner they became that Christianity, matter. They matter. Don't force people. My church is the best. Miracle happen. Come, come and worship with us. You are forcing people to come to your church. If, miracle, if people come to your church because of miracle, if they no longer miracle, they go back to the world. Miracle, 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 deliverance, deliverance, prophecy, prophecy. Come to synagogue church. Ah, you are forcing them to come. Just miracle? No, faith is not imitation. It cannot be imitated. You cannot meet God because you do what someone else does. Someone else say, I gave Jeep to Pastor Tibi Joshua. After giving Jeep to him, that is, let's all Jeep, then God bless me. And the man came out to say, Praise the Lord. I bought a, a Jeep. Let's us give to TV Joshua. After giving that let's us give, I was awarded a contract of one billion dollar. You say, ah, me too, I'm going to buy Jeep. I will even buy two. Yeah, that is how to get God. I'll do that. Now you now come with uh, what is the most expensive car, Jeep? Tell me now you are there. You came with it. Ooh, three of them flashy car hey this is my gift sir and i don't know your motive because of testimony you had somebody bought g let's all give to pastor and they got trillion dollar you two you went to the market to buy your own faith is not imitation faith cannot be imitated it must arrive in each person's heart Based on the word of God. Tell your neighbor, base, faith is not imitation. It cannot be imitated. It must arrive in each person's heart. Based on the word of God. If you, you cannot meet God. Now. Very soon you see people shouting, ah, this is just a, help me, my mom is this, my mom is my father is this. You now want to copy Tim Joshua and now say, come, okay, our tent is all right. 
after two hours, another person shout over there and say, Dibi Joshua, Dibi Joshua, my business is not going well. He's imitating who? The first person that came out. Okay, look at the blind black male. Blind black male cry out. He said, Son of David, have mercy on me. But it was only that record we had in the Bible at that portion that after that Jesus called him come and made him whole but there are many people that copied Lambert Mill in the Bible that say ah Jesus ah, ah, but Jesus never listened to them because he knew they were imitated we are talking of the faith I said I will not deliver me so let me stop here thank you please Time is so it's not on our side. Please, I've forgotten myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next week, next week, continue. The, the title is Believe in Our Heart. So I'm trying to explain the word believe, the, be, the word believe, the word hearts, the word faith. Okay, let me just give this example and stop here. Let me give you a good example. Of the world belief because you may not know what the world belief if I see you I know you are there if I'm not blind and I can see clear I'm I'm giving you the world belief what the world believe me if I see can see you think that you are there no do I have to listen and research before I can acknowledge the reality of this fact no do i have to struggle again hey, is it there is it there have confirmed you are there that is the world belief but the world belief today the way we go about it you see many things that happen Oh, people go to the mountain. I don't believe. Uh, we force people to believe. We force people to believe. We restrict people from their life. No, if somebody is your your own child, is doing the wrong thing, you can take him to the reformation center. Don't involve God in this. Reformation center will keep him to the camp, and he will be in the camp. They will eject him. They will treat. Him. That is the reformation center. But bringing Jesus to the issue now, Jesus doesn't force people. No, he will not. Bring your cigarettes. Stop that. It's not right. Because he know there is what we call discretion. But today we force people, even our language in the church. That church is not good. This church is good. That is. Men. That is just men. You see, puppet, where we judge, condemn, and tell the, the tell, condemn people. That is no. Your Christian life will have been more smoother than this. The beginning, the first day you came out to say, I confess Jesus is Lord, they call out, you run out, I will not do that. But you run back again. And when you go back to Satan again, if it is one cigarette you used to smoke before, you will finish 10 packets. Seriously, Satan will deal with you. Say, you have gone, you have come. Okay, you. So that is why this issue of faith, belief, and heart, we are going to talk about this next meeting.
So as soon as you know, so the way you go about your children, your husband, your wife, this, that, that, no. Many marriages today collapse. Suddenly you people marry, but when you people were married, were coming together, you know the faith of the man, and the man know your faith. But suddenly, you people come together, and you people started relationship. What happened next? So this is an issue we are going to address, and I know God will give us the grace. But I want to appeal to you, time is not on our side. I will have talked more about this. Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the end of the day, I attend to you and you will still see me. It made your case is very, very, very urgent. There are some cases that if I don't attend to them, it may be too late. Meeting them mess may not solve their problem. So these are the trying to understand the way the law works. So thank you very much. So open your heart, like we have said, believe in our hearts. Don't look at others. Because others close eyes, you too close your eyes. This is exactly what has happened. This is exactly what has happened. I was I was, I was in the meeting with my people yesterday telling them the two, the two languages today. The language of the Bible that God used, used to save and create us. Take note. The language of the Bible that God used to save and what? Create us. To hear and bless us to judge and rule over us is different from today's language are you with me take note of that people don't know many christians today church people they are using today's language to pray to communicate but god cannot hear you today's language is for gossip Today language is for what? To tell story. Today language is mostly for to singing. Oh my God. You see, you see everybody sing. You, only God can only lead you who? Everybody can sing any song. Today language is to talk to our children. Leave that place. If not, I'll kick you. God language cannot start. Today language to do business, politics. You know politics in the town today? Today, language to do business. You know, business, anything can happen. It's different from what? Today's language. But people use today's language to rebook. They say, some people say, you can use this in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, today's language. But it sounds the same, even smoother than even the Bible language. But it's like, oh, Jesus is the Lord, I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord. Yes, amen. Today language. Cannot hear, cannot say, cannot create, cannot deliver, cannot do anything. You only talk to the air. You pray, 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 pray. Today language. I take it again. The language of the Bible that God used to save and create us, to hear and bless us, to judge and rule over us is different from today language. Today language is only for gossip. Talk to our children. Talk to our one. I will plot you. That's it for me. Do business. Do this. Do that. But we don't know the difference between this language. 
You don't know. Because the same today language can preach powerful, a wonderful message. Can preach, can teach, can pray. This is why the Bible says the Holy Spirit preaches as a way man has the ability to preach. So, the question now, which of this language are you used to, communi to, to, to communion with God? Because God only hears the language of the Bible. And the language of the Bible is not in the book, not on the written page, but in the lips of the believer. Tell your neighbor, the language of the Bible is not in the book. It's not on the page, it's not on the pages of the book. But in the lips of the believer. Here. This is why I say there is power in your mouth. The belief in your heart is released by faith out of your mouth. Open the Bible, you get to the, hey, this is, a, amen, amen. You come back again. You open it here. You see, Jesus, yes, how excellent, amen. You come back again. Oh, you decided to stay here with your work. We are not a politician. Whatever you want to say should come from your heart. If what you want to say is not come from your heart, it means you are talking today's language. Amen? Jesus is Lord. Oh! That is why the world can condemn me and crucify me, but I'm telling you the truth. Believe in our heart what you want to speak. If that way is of faith, you come from your heart. And whatever that is not from your heart is not faith. And whatever that is not faith is sin. How can I? Oh, I need to carry it. If the word if the language of the Bible that God used to save, to create, is not in the book. This is without the power of God. This is book. Without the Holy Ghost, this is book. This is why anybody can just enter. And they will not ask you in the bookshop. They will not ask, are you a Christian? Are you born again before giving your Bible? They need money. This book. If you enter bookshop, you just carry your money. They will not ask you, brother, are you a Christian before I said the Bible? They will not ask you. They will give you how much? Five dollars? Take your Bible and go. This book. There's what we call Bible. That's what we call Holy Bible. It's you that can make it. So if the language of the Bible that God used to save and create is not in the book, is not in the written page but in the lips of the believer okay whatever i want to write you read this and come out and tell you the message i have in my heart if the message is not committed into to memory if the message is committed to memory only i will not be able to tell you i need to go there because there is little I can commit here. Here it has a limitation, a limit I can put here. You know, it's memory. That no matter how clever, how fast you are, there's limit you can put here. 
After you finish a little, you have to go back there and see. But if the message become an integral part of your being, part of you, you speak it. You just you speak it. You it come out naturally. I know the message may not go well, but I'm telling you, this is just it. So we we'll talk about it tomorrow through this message, which I will step on many toes. I will not mind, but this is the message for you. Because you are asking me, how come the healing happen? How come the deliverance happen? How come the prophetic prophecy? How come, I will tell you, what, there are two languages. The language of the Bible that God used. The language of today's we use to war. We use to war. There are two languages. So please, thank you very much. Father, open their hearts. Ask God to open your heart. Because if Le Seigneur d'ouvrir votre cœur. Ok, we are, we are coming. If I don't say through your heart, I will not be able to say exactly your situation. If I'm not say through your heart, I will not be able to say exact your situation. I, I should be able to say through your word. Through your heart. Through Christianity lying in the heart. In the purity of heart. Ask God to open the door of your heart. Open the door of my heart, O oh Lord. Seigneur, ouvre la porte de mon cœur, Seigneur, priez. Il y a la Dieu qui ouvre la porte de son cœur. Vivez at home. Ask God to open the door of your heart. Le spectateur demande au Seigneur d'ouvrir la porte de votre cœur. Open the door of my heart. Il est évident, pide la Dieu qui ouvre la porte de son cœur. Connect me to the Holy Spirit. Connectez-moi au Saint Esprit. Connectez-moi au Saint Esprit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. So I, I will just go as God direct me, like I have said, please. I think uh, people that after living, after the service, I may not see them. So because of, uh, they have to go back. So, uh, so if God want me to speak to you and you still see me, it means your case is urgent. So please take it. Don't let anything discourage you. So please let the will of God be done. Father, we thank you. Give thanks to him. Give thanks to him. Take note of these two words we, we talk about today. If, there's, if you have forgotten all, don't forget this. The language of the Bible that God used to create and to save us, to heal and to bless us, to judge and to rule over us, is different from the language of today. We use the language of today to gossip to do business, to talk to our little one, get out, I'm sleeping, well, to sing song. To give direction, go this way, go that way, this is the way you should go. Hallelujah. Brother, 